Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this Hello Kitty Donut Squishy out of paper. And I know this is not completely perfect, but this was only my second attempt and this was my first attempt at making a paper squishy. So I just made this Doritos bag and I basically just printed out the Doritos bag and taped it together and I just filled it with cotton balls so yep let's get started So first you want to start off by tracing your template onto the foam and you can just find this template just by searching up Hello Kitty head template onto Google. And I also drew on the bow and the hole in the middle. Yeah as you can see I did mess up at first. <laughs> So next we want to start cutting this out. So you just want to fold the paper in half like this. And then you just want to cut this out like so. And you should get two pieces that are the same size so I'm just going to finish that so here is what they should look like when you're done and you also want to cut out the hole on the other one as well so now it is up to you how you want to colour them. I'm going to be doing this design here but you can do whatever design you want. So I'm just going to do that. So here they are once I've finished colouring them in. 
So I just use light pink for the front and then I use brown for the drizzle and red for the bow. And I just added in the details using um, just a red sharpie. And then for the other side I used this yellow um, okra colour I think it's called. And I just painted the parts of the bow red. So now let's move on to the next step. So now you can probably just do this step before you colour them in, but you want to cover both of the sides with tape. And as you can see, I've already done that for this one. And this is just going to protect it. So I'm just going to finish that. So here is what it should look like once you've covered both paths with tape. And as you can see, I've already started to stick them together using more tape. So you just want to do that all the way around, but you want to leave some space to put some filling inside. And it's up to you what you want to use to fill your squishy. You can use foam, you can use a plastic bag. I'm going to be using cotton balls so I'm just going to do so here's what it looks like after I've finished filling it up with cotton balls and I know it's still pretty flat but I couldn't really fit a lot in there because it was quite fiddly And it's not really slow rising. But I still kind of like it. It is it isn't really neat. It is quite messy in some or in most areas. <laughs> but like I said before, this is only my second attempt. But I still hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want me to do more squishies like this, then please comment them down below. And, yep, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.